Hey everyone, welcome back to Cozy Grove. If you weren't aware, this is probably the fourth episode in the series, so if you haven't watched the other episodes, you should definitely go back and watch those. I'm really excited to carry on our adventure today. I hope you're having a super lovely day, and maybe get cozy with a blanket and a cup of tea. And with that out of the way, let's get cozy and head into the game. Oh, our little character waking up is so cute. Okay, so we are at day four. It's taking us a long time to get through the days in this game, but that's okay. And why don't we check in with our bird? Let's give him a little pet. <laughs> He's so cute. The creature seems to like you. What would you like to name it? <laughs> Shot fast. <laughs> Shot fast. Oh my gosh, what the fuck? No. Cosmo, that's a cute one. Auntie Death. Mocha. Homer, Featherhead the First, Champ, Biscuit. How cute are these names? I love that we can name them. Ryu, Chi Chi. Actually, a lot of people think Archie's name is Chi Chi because when I'm calling him, that's what it sounds like I'm saying. <laughs> Barnaby the Bird, that's cute. I think I like Cosmo though. I'm going to keep clicking more names until we get Cosmo, I think, because I really like that. I think Cosmo suits him because he's like blue, like the night sky, you know? Okay, there we go. It looks like he wants something to eat, like a, it looks like a kebab stick, is that what you'd call it? And while we're here we might as well harvest our trees and our flowers as well. Our little camp area is becoming so homey now. So let's harvest our peaches and our pears and our puppies over here. <laughs> okay, so why don't we go check in with Charlotte, can I help you with something? I've seen you digging out there, camper. Not to knock Jeremy, but the shovel he gave you seems a bit flimsy. He never had proper wilderness training, doesn't know how to reinforce a tool of spirit. How to do what now? Don't be embarrassed, a lot of scouts never learn that skill. Luckily, I'm an old hand at it. Here's a list of ingredients, bring them to me and I'll make you a shovel that can dig a latrine in seconds flat. No rush of course, I've got a whole pot of tea to drink. <laughs> okay, so we need to get charred fish bones by burning any fish with flamey. Um, I don't know if we have much fish on me at the moment, so I suppose we'll have to get some fishing done at some point. Can I help you with something? <sighs> I see that I'm back to being blue and transparent. It's like wearing a neon sign that says, Look at Jeremy Gruffle. He really messed up his life. It makes me mad. Burning mad. So mad that I could melt iron. <laughs> make it by burning any iron ore with flamey. Okay, so we need to make some iron ingots for Jeremy. I hope he cheers up soon. I feel so sad for Jeremy. He's always so upset himself. It makes me feel so sorry for him. Let's collect these little shells while we're here. And I suppose we have to do some fishing, don't we? I think it said we need 10 charred fish bones. So we'll have to... What is that? What is that over there? Can I catch it? No? That's weird. Okay, let's catch this fish and see what we get. Oh, we got a recipe. A gothic fence crafting recipe. Awesome. This game is so fun because I'm always like not sure what I'm going to get. I, like, I don't know if I'm going to get a recipe or a fish or if I'm going to get a new fish. And every day there's a new surprise. Like what the heck is this thing over here? I assume we're going to learn about it at some point. It's just a big clam in the ocean. I have no idea what that's for. So let's see. I can burn this ebony squib. Here we go. Burning it over flamey is so cozy and cute. So there we go. We have one charred fish bone. Out of 10, I think it is we need to collect. So let's see, I might have another one in my pocket. Oh, here we go. A gentle friend fish. Let's burn that over the fire. Yay! <laughs> I wish we could do things like that in Animal Crossing. I really want to know what that weird shell is. I assume a bear is going to tell us about it at some point. For now, let's just carry on fishing, I guess. It's so lovely with the rain. And we got a dead car. Well, at least I don't have to feel bad about burning it. We got another dead car. <laughs> Oh no, why is there so many dead fish in the ocean? Look how lovely the beach is today. There's like chairs out here and towels. Looks like there's some little spirits over there. Oh, what's this one? A moon eye? That sounds so cute. Let's catch this other fish and then we should probably go check in with Captain. And we got another dead gar. So that does make me feel a bit better about burning them with flamey. So let's see. Oh my goodness, there's a huge fish over here. Let's catch him first. For some reason, it's so satisfying catching these. Yay! And we got a gentle friend fish. They're so cute. I love the names of the fish in this game. So many big ones over here. By the way, I really hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'm absolutely loving it. Every single time I come away from playing Cozy Grove, I just feel so happy. We got a dusk herring. I think that's a new one. I'm not sure if we'll have much space left in our inventory now. 
But yeah, I'm really enjoying this game and I just think it's so lovely. So I really hope you guys will enjoy this series. I want to carry this series on for a really long time. I just think this game is so wonderful. I really connect to this game and I love it so much. So I want to keep playing it with you guys. So let's burn the rest of these fish with Flamey. Let's burn the dead gars. Oh no. <laughs> so I don't know how many we have left to collect now. I don't really want to burn my moon eye because I think that's a new one. But we can burn our gentle friend fish because we've already donated one of those. Okay, so now we've burnt those. I suppose we should head to Captain and donate the rest to his little collection. So let's head back towards the beach and we can go check in with him. I want to catch this big fish first though. <laughs> I always get so distracted as soon as I see a big fish. I'm like, I need to catch that right now. <laughs> also, um, if you're enjoying this and you've made it this far into the video, please let me know in the comments what you're up to and what time of day is you're watching this. I'd be really interested to know what when people like watching these videos. Do you watch them before bed? Because I imagine that would be nice and like comfy and cozy just to watch before you're about to go to sleep. So I'd love to know when you're watching this. And let's donate the moon eye. Here you go. And we got a reward, so we got 3,000 old coins. Yay! That would be so helpful. And while we're here, we might as well donate our Smooth Buttercup, how do you say that word? Luki or Lucy? And some other fishies we've caught as well. Okay, and we got even more rewards. So this time we got 1,401 coins, that's very specific. And we got 600 old coins, and of course loads of quartz gemstones for some reason. Awesome, so now we should have more space in our pockets to catch more fish. Oh, what's this area over here? We've got a whole new area. I assume a bear is going to turn up around here. Whoa, what is this? What the heck is that? What is that? Oh my goodness, I found so many secrets. There's a throne over here. What the heck? There's shells today, there's little creatures running around. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my goodness, this game just keeps getting better and better. Let's see if Captain needs anything. It isn't easy, is it? Being stranded here, no hope of rescue, we've not put spirits for company. Uh, this is exactly what I trained for, I'm doing fine. No doubt, young sailor, no doubt. Patience, Squawk. Patience is the greatest challenge. In life, only one thing helped me through the long stretches of grey. A mug of grog. Help other spirits and you'll get this in return. You may have to help multiple times and wait several days, so be patient. Okay, so I assume I can't finish Captain's quest today, it's gonna take me a while. That's interesting. I don't know what the heck a cup of grog is. It's like a cup of tea, but really groggy. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm interested to learn more about that. So that's sad we can't complete Captain's quest today, but hopefully we can complete the other bear's quests and check in with everyone. So let's burn the rest of these fish. We need three more. Oh, here's some fish over here. Awesome. It's so lovely and relaxing in this game. I think I love fishing in like most games, it's a really nice pastime because you get like the water sound effects and it's always like a reward no matter what you get, it's always a reward and I think it's just like a stable hobby in most relaxing games like Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing, Harvest Moon, um, most relaxing games especially the classic ones had fishing as a hobby in it, even like games you wouldn't expect have fishing in like Neo Automata and Final Fantasy have just included fishing in their games now, which is really cute, I think. I've actually never gone fishing in real life. I'm not sure I would enjoy it because I, I wouldn't want to hurt the fish. But in games, it's so fun and so relaxing. It's almost like a lucky dip sort of thing because you never know what you're going to get. It's fun when it's like a challenge as well, like Stardew Valley, it's really hard. But I also, I mainly love games where it's easy to fish, like in this and Animal Crossing. And um, yeah, when it's much easier, it's just so relaxing. I could spend hours doing it. And I know a lot of people's favorite activity in a lot of cozy games is fishing. And I completely understand why. It's just so relaxing, like, especially on rainy days in the game or in real life. It's just so cozy and nice. Yeah, I just love the way it's implemented in this game. It's so much fun. I saw an adorable ghost bird wandering through town the other day. The poor thing was hungry. It didn't have anyone to care for it. Oh no. Unfortunately, I have no idea what ghost animals eat, but I'm an expert in baking positivity. <laughs> so, using my baker's intuition, I've compiled a list of high potential animal treats. What could go wrong? 
Nothing, that's what. Okay, so she wants mixed greens and salt from Mr. Kit's store, and it says I will have to upgrade Mr. Kit's store to get that. Hopefully I can do that today. I don't know where I get mixed greens from. And uh, while we're here, let's burn these fishies. I think we might have enough now. Let's burn these. Oh yeah, we get four charred fish bones for the dead gar. Okay, so we definitely have enough now then. Here we go. <laughs> Woohoo! Five charred fish bones. So now we can go give these to Charlotte and she should give us a new shovel, which is really exciting because I noticed there was loads of little spots I wasn't able to dig in. Looks like you bought everything. Well done. Now let's see. A little range of know-how, a little ghostly misdirection. And now your shovel is certified pro. It can dig deeper and go longer without breaking. Remember Scout, take care of your tools. I didn't even know the tools broke in this game, so thank you for informing me about that. Yay! And we got a common log cabin end table and a camping lantern. Yay, I always feel so happy when we get more lights. And everything's so colourful now, we can collect the coins. Oh, it's so cosy and lovely. I love when it's all colourful. It's so rewarding. I feel so happy. But yeah, one of my favourite things to get in this game is a new bear friend and a new light because I love placing the lamps around and making the whole world feel colourful and happy while I'm playing. So maybe I should place the uh, little end table over here. And seems like my pet bird seems to like the decoration. That's so cute. I didn't even notice that. The more I decorate, the happier it makes him. That is so interesting and so cool. What I need may take some time to find. You may have to wait for resources. Oh, but he only wants iron ingot. I should have, I should be able to find some iron ore. It seems like they're giving me quests that are going to take longer. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to finish or find a new bear today. I hope we can, but let's just donate this stuff for now. And of course we're going to get some rewards. We got 200 old coins, more 200 old coins. And we got 961 old coins, very specific again. And 500 old coins for our flower. Okay, it's really fun putting stuff in the little museum. Let's check in with the tree bear spirit. Let's dig in these leaves first. <laughs> Hi, can I help you with something? Those imps have been rooting around in the underbrush again. Where did they come from? What do they want? I can often gain knowledge by consulting my friend's leaves, but I've learned nothing about the imps. Anyway, the imps have stolen some branches from me yet again. Can you retrieve them for me? Okay, it was near a folding chair. One of the imps has it. Chase them. Okay. <laughs> so we're collecting twigs again. Let's see. Oh, here's a little area to dig. Let's see what we get. Got some silver coins. Awesome. There's a little table and chairs over here. So cute. I'm going to put this camping lantern by Mr. Kit because Mr. Kit is always stuck in the dark and it makes me so sad. Like, look how cute he is. He deserves to be in the sunshine, in the colourful area. I don't think I can reach the area I want from here, so if I walk over here I can probably do it better. So I really just want him to be in a colourful area because he deserves it, you know? He's always sat here with his little shop. So let's put the little lantern here. Oh look how cosy and cute it is now! And why don't we check the shop while we're here? So let's look at the clothes. Oh my goodness, a ribbon uniform! A strawberry! And an orange beret, glasses, oh my goodness, a bear hood. Oh my goodness, last time I checked the shop, the clothing was boring as heck. There's so much good stuff today. I'm getting the strawberry hood, oh my goodness, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, look how cute. And I want to get the ribbon uniform, because that kind of goes with it. I also want to get this beret. Oh my goodness, last time we played, and there was only a couple of clothing items, I thought they were the only clothing items in the game, so I was a bit like, oh... I hope you unlock more soon because I, I didn't really like any of them, but now I've just realised that you get different ones all the time. That's so exciting! Oh my goodness, I definitely have to have the bear hood. Look how cute that is. We look so cute now, like a little strawberry. Oh my goodness, we're so cute now! Oh my gosh, this is the best day ever. Oh, why don't we harvest these rocks while we're here? We do need to find some iron ore. Here we go, let's harvest these. <laughs> Everything's so cute with the strawberry hat on. Oh, I think we actually got some iron ore, so... Let's see. Uh, we did! So we can take this back to Flamey, and then we can give that to Jeremy. Hopefully that cheers him up, because he seems like he's really sad today. He's sad most days, but he just today he seems really glum and putting himself down, so hopefully this will cheer him up. I would like to burn some iron ore, please. We've been using Flamey quite a lot today to burn things. There we go. Hooray! <laughs> Okay, let's take this back to Jeremy. 
at all these creatures, oh my goodness. Hey, who knew that ghostly rage burns hot enough to power a furnace? Now we can make ingots. It's just frustrating. I thought sharing those tools with you would clear my name and set me free. I was such a careful maker when I was alive, but now I'm a ghost, so I must have left something unfinished. What was it? Oh, Jeremy. I really wonder what, what he needs to help him pass on, you know? He always just seems like he has such regret about his life. But this area is so lovely and colourful now. Oh, it's so lovely. What is that weird creature? <laughs> Hi, Maker Buddy. I was just leaving through this ancient joke book. Philogelus? From the 4th century. Let's see what we can learn about the old masters. A drunk opens a bar and stations a chained bear outside. Hmm. That was terrible. I'm sorry, Maker Buddy. I'm just wasting your time at this point. What the heck was that joke? I don't get it. That seemed really sad. Oh, poor Jeremy. <laughs> what the heck? It's really important to make friends. What if you get sick and need to crowdfund your appendectomy? Appendectomy? Friendship equals survival. Especially if you want to survive late capitalism. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jeremy, what the heck? Okay, so there's supposed to be a stick around here. Um... All I'm seeing around here is that little weird creature crawling on the floor. Oh well, let's harvest this rock while we're here. What is that creature? I'm so confused by it. I feel like it's to do with a quest that I haven't quite started yet. That's really weird. I can't even tell you what that is. It just looks like a, a bag of fabric that's moving across the floor. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. It's so weird. Here's a log for you, Flamey. More! Only six more logs before I'm full. I sense at least three logs out there. Oh, so there's only three today? Does that mean we won't unlock a new friend? What the heck? I was hoping to unlock a new bear friend today because in the comments of my last video one of you guys said that you think I'm going to really like the next bear. So I was really looking forward to meeting them. Okay, okay. I got him! <gasps> oh, he's a little love heart for me. Oh, he gave me the twig. Okay. I think we just have to keep chasing the imps then. I always call them spirits, but they're called imps. I should start calling them the correct thing. Maybe this one has one? Oh no, he disappeared. <laughs> so they're probably the imps that are over by Jeremy still. Let's dig up this little hole first. See what we get, because these are the ones I couldn't dig up last episode. We got a sweet potato, how cute! Okay, let's chase these imps again. This one, I think this one has it. I'm gonna get ya! <gasps> got him! <laughs> and he has a little heart for me again. So just one more twig to find. Let's see. Oh, this one's running away from me. Uh. Wait, I got him, but he still ran. Oh. He tricked me. He doesn't even have it. This is fun. It's like playing tag with the little imps. Also, we don't call it tag in England. We call it, um, it. <laughs> it's really confusing and difficult to... It, like say in a sentence. Oh, you want to play it? It doesn't really sound as good as tag, does it? This is kind of fun. I like chasing them around. Oh yeah, the postal bear. Can I help you with something? Well, well, my favourite assistant postmaster is back. I got a package notification earlier today. A £23 box. A package that size must be a dang whopper of a psychic object. Could you track it down for me? Of course I will. Look by a boat. Behind something. Okay, so it's probably by the beach. Let's see, which one of these imps has the last twig? Oh, I sort of remember where I saw one. It was near a broken rowboat. Oh, so that'll be on the beach as well, probably. Let's sit over here, because there's a boat here. Some rope on the floor. Behind something. Uh, I can't see it anywhere. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear something in the background. My cat, Archie, is just like storming around the living room. And his, his the sound of him walking on the wooden floor is really noisy. Because he's quite a big cat. I think you think he's small, but he's actually very, very big. I think he has a little bit of Maine Coon in him. If you didn't know, like, Maine Coons are a breed of cat that are very big. Um, I don't know who Archie's dad cat was. I knew his mum, and she was a tabby cat, so I think his dad must have had some sort of big cat gene in him, because he's actually really big. Okay, so why don't we donate these for now, so we have more space in our pocket. I just keep donating things today. And of course we get rewards. We got 1,500 coins. 200 quartz gemstones and 10 more gemstones. Awesome. So, a broken rowboat. I can't remember ever seeing a rowboat other than our boat that we came to Cozy Grove on. I suppose that's broken, isn't it? 
Oh no, it flew floated away. Oh, here's a boat, here's a boat. Oh, I got him! <laughs> this one's so cute. Okay, we got the last branch. Awesome, so now we can take these back to Francesca. And then hopefully we've helped her out today. I love her little area in the woods, it's so lovely. So here she is. Why did the imps take our branches? I saw shapes scratched in the dirt, spirals and eyes and jagged mouths. I wonder, are the imps capable of art? It doesn't matter, self-expression is no excuse for stealing from a tree. Yeah, self-expression is no excuse for anything. I mean, I've been collecting a lot of spirit logs, so I'm not sure. Had the branches already fallen, what's the harm? Um, I've been collecting spirit logs, so I, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Oh, but that's different, isn't it? Spirit logs are home from the Great Tree of Death. Its branches are endless and ever-expanding, so it's harmless to collect them. I think. Well, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that the branches are returned. Yay! And now the woods is going to be so colourful and lovely. And we got a new pear tree. Ready for the colours. Woohoo! <laughs> It's so lovely. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear disgusting squelching noises in the background. It's literally Archie cleaning his fur so noisily. I don't know why he's doing this. I'm really sorry about that, but I know you guys don't mind Archie so much. But I thought I'd explain that in case you thought that was me for some reason making squelching noises. It's not. It's my cat. <laughs> okay, so we still need to find the package for Patrice. I think Patrice's design is absolutely adorable. He's literally a package as a bear. Isn't that the most cute idea ever? And he's so sweet. It's just so cute. I love like post, post like mailman characters like Pete and Pelly and Phyllis from Animal Crossing. They're always just so sweet and cute and like you have to visit them often usually in games to get your mail. So you always get quite attached to them. In the first couple of episodes, if you go back and watch them, all the shells we found were like very colorless, but now they're all like gold and pink. So that makes it really exciting collecting them. I knew I could count on you. And hey, there's a nice surprise. The package is addressed to me. It's heavy as heck. I wonder what it is. Hopefully something from my wife and kids. Maybe a huge homemade paperweight. Oh. It's a soccer ball. No wonder it weighed so much. Is there something else in there weighing the package down maybe? Nope. Most soccer balls are a pound at most. Mine is a little different. You know, I get some pretty weird mail. Last week it was a box full of blood soaked bear claws. I usually don't let it bother me. But this. He's crying. Oh no. Sorry, Patrice. Why is he upset about the football? At least the area is all colourful and nice now. I feel really sad for Patrice. I don't know what's wrong with him. Who is doing that to him? That's so horrible. Well, we have a new potted plant. So we can place that here at the entrance to our little camp. I want to move this lamp a little bit. So I think I'm going to place it here maybe. I think that looks a lot better. And it keeps our table all lit up as well. Here's our new fruit tree. We have like a whole fruit tree farm now. Okay, so we need to upgrade Mr. Kit's shop. I don't know if we have enough money to do so. We do have two spirit woods though that we can give to Flamey. So why don't we give him those? Here you go. He senses a log in our bag, so here you go. Gulp, only four more logs before I'm full. Um, so we need to get the salt from Mr. Kit's shop. So let's go check in with him. Oh, he's selling a net. Uh, doesn't look like he's selling any salt, unfortunately. The store upgrade is 10,000 coins. We do have enough to access more spirit logs and salt. Okay, here you go. You can take all my money. <laughs> Thank you for helping me expand my store. Check back tomorrow. Oh, no. So we're not going to get it till tomorrow? Oh my goodness, everything that we've got today tells us that we have to wait more days. So I won't be able to finish this quest till tomorrow either. I won't be able to finish that quest for a while. I also have that birdhouse that I'm keeping hold of for another character. Oh my goodness, there's just so many that we have to wait for. Why, well, if it isn't my little letter getter who's come to chat. To take my mind off things, I'm rereading my favourite postal decree, publication 59 abbreviations for use of the zip code. Not only does this document establish the zip code system, but it also introduces the two letter state abbreviations we know and love today. Some say the postmaster general nailed it to the door of the postal service headquarters, but I think that's an urban myth. Okay. <laughs> Let's check our mailbox. Cheerio, Scout Aloo. I'm not the sort to become alarmed, but we found bits of a little boat wrecked on the shore. It looked a lot like your boat. <laughs> Adventure, am I right? Don't worry, if you're lost for too long, we'll come out to get you, almost certainly. Okay, thank you for sending a lamp. Um, what the heck, you found my boat broke? Oh yeah, because my boat flew away. Not flew away, but sw swam away? 
got pushed away. I don't know how to explain that. <laughs> but I hope I was thinking, wait, am I dead? I don't think I am. It was just my boat. <gasps> I can give Jeremy a hug. What the heck? Oh my goodness. I must give him another hug. What the heck is literally the cutest thing ever. Can you believe how cute that is? I want to hug everyone in this game. Oh my goodness. Jeremy really deserves a hug because he's always so sad. So hopefully that cheered him up a lot. And he said you warmed my spirit. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. That's so sweet. Well, I've checked in with everyone today and it doesn't seem like we're going to unlock a new bear friend today, unfortunately. I've looked around the whole island and none of the bears have any quests for me that I'm actually able to complete today. We have to check back tomorrow for the salt. I suppose let's go check in with Charlotte, though I don't think we're actually able to complete any of these quests today. So that's unfortunate because I was really hoping to unlock a new bear every episode, but I suppose it's not possible as the story goes on. Well, Camper, you've managed to surprise me and that's saying something. It looks like you've uncovered the site of an ancient major lamp. I haven't seen one of these in years. These ancient artifacts can be lit with other lamps. You just have to link them all together. Once lit, a major lamp stabilizes an area and makes it safe for campers. You'll be able to keep your decorations, animals, and plants in this new location. Legends tell that major lamps can also be a source of wealth for those who like them? I've never witnessed that myself, but I've always been curious. Okay, so that's what that new area is. So we have to use lamps to link light to the area. So let's see, I don't know if I have enough lamps. Well, actually, Francesca's area is lit up now, so I should only need like two or three. That's so cool, we have a whole new area to place objects. So I don't know if I have any lamps on me right now. Oh, I do have one. So, oh wait, I'm gonna have to place it over here first. So the thing is in this game that all the lights have to connect to other lights. Let me pick up this one, because I assume I'm going to need more than one for this. Oh, I feel so bad picking up lamps, it makes me so sad, but we're going to place some more over here anyway. I was thinking there must be more for us to do today, because I feel like I haven't done much, and um, but there was nothing, there was no more quests for me to do, so I assume today's focus is on this new area. So I'm going to try to get this as close to the chair as I can, I think that's as close as we're going to get it right there. Okay, so now this area is colourful. If we go down here, maybe this will reach the little lamp. It looks like a throne to me. Let's place it there. Ta-da! Okay, so I need one more just to get the light to reach that lamp there. Um, so I'll have a look around Cozy Grove, see if I can find a lamp that I've placed down that I don't need somewhere. I suppose we could take this one from Mr. Kit. Sorry, Mr. Kit. I'll give you another lamp sometime, I promise. That one was so cute, it like matches his shop as well, so I definitely want to give him one of those lamps again. And we might not even have to keep these lamps here, we might just need them here for this quest and then hopefully we're able to pick them up. Because it would be awkward if every time I got rid of the lamps I wasn't able to use this area. Okay, <gasps> okay so she did say we're going to get wealth and look at all these coins! Whoa! So we have this whole new area that we're allowed to decorate on on the beach. We can have like a beach home and a little cozy camp home. That's so cool. I'm wondering if the shell like wants me to throw a shell into it. Because it just has a shell icon so I assume it, maybe if I throw a shell at it it will do something? Nope. <laughs> well it was just a guess. I'm excited to learn what that's about. But look at this whole new area we have, that's so much fun! We have a whole new area to decorate now. A relic of the Forgotten Empire. How cool is that? Um, but yeah, like I was saying earlier, I don't think we're actually able to complete any more quests today. So, to meet our new bear character and complete these quests, you're gonna have to come back to the next episode. So I will record that as soon as I can. I've heard stories of humans cutting down grand old trees just so they could count the rings. But isn't it so much nobler to create something rather than to destroy it? so much more meaningful. She's right, you know, we shouldn't cut down so many trees. Humans do a lot of nasty things to this world. But we don't have to worry about that while we're here in Cozy Grove. Let's feed this little imp. I don't even know what this is I'm giving him. <laughs> Aww, well, what's that he's given us? Joyous imp essence, isn't that the cutest thing? I'm temporarily closed and restocking my wares. Yeah, so we really can't complete all our quests today. That's so unfortunate. I was really looking forward to meeting the new bear character. But like I said, we'll just have to come back and meet them next episode to complete more quests. So I hope you guys look forward to that. 
And even though we didn't unlock a new bear character today, I really hope you enjoyed this episode anyway. I hope you found it nice and cosy and comforting and calming and relaxing because that's the whole reason I make this series. And I think this game's atmosphere is so wonderful, so lovely. So I really hope this was able to give you some peacefulness and just some calmness in your day. Before I go, I do want to say an extra special thank you to my Patreon supporters for supporting me this month. Your support means so much to me and helps me out more than you'll ever realise and I really do appreciate you more than you'll ever know. So thank you so much. And to the rest of you watching this, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope you're having a lovely day. If you did enjoy this video, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing only if you want to though and please consider leaving a comment because it really does help out my engagement and lets me know that you enjoy this series and want to see more but with all that out of the way it's time for me to go so thank you so much for watching i hope you have a super wonderful and cozy day and i'll speak to you in my next video